Hello! Not been very well this week, staying and watching paint dry. <laughs> I've got a bad back, a bad leg, um, a bad head and a bad arm. This one's fine. Oh, no, actually, I had an emergency. I lost a nail, a broken nail. That's an emergency. And my stomach has been a bit ticky, ticky ticky too. Not as bad as watching people picking the nose. I want a cup of coffee. So I decided that I would go out for dinner because my boyfriend didn't want to cook. So I, I, I said we're going for dinner. So I walked into this pub and I'm at the bar and there's nobody else. Can you see me? Can you see me? Do I look like you can see me? Am I noticeable? I'm noticeable. Mm. I'm noticeable. Mm. I'm noticeable. Mm. Anyway, he's the barman. He's standing there in the corner of the bar thinking that no one can see and he's picking his nose. Now I know how to make the peas. He's to pick the nose and roll them up and stick them on a plate. No, thank you. No. So I, I, I didn't want it then. I didn't want my peas. There's no point in having steak if you can't have your peas and your mushroom. I stood at the bar for ten minutes and said, no, I'm not, I'm not coming here. We'll go to somewhere else. Quite a lot of pubs where I live. Quite nice places. They do lots of food, and quite a lot of bar staff that pick the noses in front of you when they think that you're not looking, banging, knocking on the, there's no bell on the bar, and they're knocking, excuse me. Have you got time in between picking your noses to get me a cup of tea? And he stood there like, with his fingers still up his nose, and he looked at me and he went, I'm so sorry, and as he pulled his finger out his nose, Still come with it, stringy. It's like looking at a two-year-old with a sneezed. Why do people always put the nose pickers on the front of the 66 box? And you get on the bus, and, and the kids are screaming and running around, and you got the bus driver going, <gasps> and then you got the people at the front, and you walk on, and they're all like. Right. We've got the fingers in all of his ears, nose, rubbing the eyes, hands in the mouth, then they're touching their boots. And then, see, I don't, I don't like buses, not no more. So when, it, when I left the pub, there was a man walking for me. I, I thought, oh, maybe he wants to borrow one of my crutches. And, uh, and uh, he fell over. And I, and I stood there with my crutches. I went, are you all right? Do you need a doctor? Or, or do you want one of my crutches? He didn't talk to me, he just looked at me with funny eyes and just laughed at me. I think it's something to do with my hair. I'm, I'm thinking of dyeing it a different colour, but I'm not sure, but you know, I do think he needed a doctor really.